Hey everyone, welcome to the Vue.js course by Design Plus Code. My name is Thomas and I'll be showing you how to build an admin dashboard from scratch using Vue. A few key things that we'll be learning is how to create graphs, charts, and tables to visualize data, how to manage users by entering certain pieces of information, and how to do some responsive cards using Flexbox. A big feature that I'll be teaching as well is dark mode, which will be applied to an entire site using Vuex. Another thing that I'll go over is how to do login. I'll demonstrate how to set up an entire authentication process with the ability to sign in using email password, how to recover an account by sending a reset password email, and how to request an account to an administrator because we want to limit the number of users that have access to our dashboard. So before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about why we should be learning Vue. By now, you may have already taken Mang's React course, which uses Gatsby, and that's a great way to make a website. However, there are some things that Vue does that React doesn't out of the box, and I'll be going over those things in this course. Vue and React are currently JavaScript's most popular frameworks. In fact, Vue has more stars on GitHub than React does, and it's extremely popular in China. A couple big companies that use Vue are Adobe and NASA. I think it's important to learn about both frameworks so we can choose what fits best for us and for our projects. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. The simplest and fastest way to start a new Vue project is through Vue CLI. So I'm going to go up to Google and type in Vue CLI 3. I'm going to click the first link and then on the left hand side, go to installation. So on this page, it tells us how to install the Vue CLI on our local computer. And right away, you'll see that there's two options for us. We can either use NPM or Yarn. So NPM and Yarn are both node package managers, meaning they let us install JavaScript packages onto our local computer and run them. And when you install NPM or Yarn, it comes with Node. So we don't have to worry about this requirement right here. So NPM and Yarn are basically the same thing with a few minor differences, but Yarn is a little bit faster and has a little bit of a friendlier output in the terminal, so I prefer Yarn. It also has emojis. So to install Yarn, I'm going to go to Google again and just type install Yarn. I'm going to click the first link, and in this page, it tells us how to install Yarn on different operating systems. You can choose your operating system here. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and just follow these instructions here. So the instructions say that I can install Yarn through the Homebrew Package Manager, which is an installation tool for Mac. So I'm gonna command click into this link, which will bring me to brew.sh, which might look familiar to you. Now I'm gonna copy this line right here and paste it into my terminal window. So I'm gonna open up my spotlight search and type in terminal. I'm going to paste that link in there, and it's going to prompt me to press enter to start installing Homebrew. So this will take a little bit of time. And here we go. It's installation successful. Now I'm going to go back to installing yarn. I'll need to type in brew install yarn into my terminal. type in that command, brew install yarn. Now this will take a little bit of time for you, but because I already have it installed, I get this message. Now I'm going to go back to view CLI 3, and I'm going to just copy that command I showed you earlier with yarn in it. So I'm going to paste that into my terminal window. It's just called yarn global add at view slash CLI. Now this will take a little bit of time as well, but after it's finished, you can go back to view CLI 3 and go down to creating a project. Scroll past all this other terminal stuff, we won't need it, and go straight to using the GUI or GUI. So this is a really neat tool that the Vue team has created that makes it really, really easy to create new Vue projects. So I'm going to go back to my terminal window. I'm going to type in Vue UI, and this will open up a browser window that lets us create projects straight from our browser, and it lives on our local computer. 
I'm going to be going over to the Create tab and then go inside my Documents folder. Here is where I'm going to be creating my new view project. Down at the bottom, there's a button that says Create a new project here. I'm going to hit that. And then for the project folder name, I'm going to call mine View Admin Dashboard. You may name yours whatever you'd like. Now I'm going to leave the settings at default and then hit next. Here I'm going to select manually select features and then hit next. Here is where we'll select some custom features for the project. The first one I want is router. Since we have multiple pages in the project, this will let us do dynamic pages for free from view that load lightning fast. The second one I want is view X. This will help us do dark mode later in the course. The last one I'm going to select is CSS preprocessors, since we're going to be using this for SAS to help us style the application and have better looking CSS. Now I'm going to hit next. Here I'm going to finish a few more configurations. So I'm going to turn on history mode, which lets us use nice looking URLs that don't contain any random numbers and letters in them. If you want more info about that, you can click right here. For the CSS preprocessor, I'm going to select SAS slash SCSS. For the linter slash formatter, I'm going to select ESLint and prettier. So these two things will let us format and configure our code correctly when we make mistakes. And so when we save our project, it'll automatically correct our code. So after this, we're going to click create project. And it's going to ask if we want to save a new preset. But I'm going to continue without saving. But if you do want to save, next time you create a project, you can use the same configurations all over again. So after you click that, it's going to install and it's going to take a little bit of time to do all the dependencies, plugins and packages. So just wait a little bit. After it's finished installing, it's going to bring you to the project dashboard, which lets you do a lot of interesting things. But the first thing I want to show you is how to run and show the project. So I'm going to go over to tasks at the bottom, on the left hand side, and then click serve. This will run the project for us. So I'm going to run task and it's going to take a little bit of time to build the project. Um, but after it's done, I'm going to hit open app and voila, here's your first view app. And you can see that you can route to different pages of the app like that. In the next video, I'll show you how to style the application.